So a few days ago, Amanda called me about a minute before I was going to call her and asked me the same question I was going to ask her, which was whether or not we were going to participate in Booktubeathon. The answer, by the way, is an enthusiastic yes. So Booktubeathon is a reading challenge um, where you try and read as much as you can in a week, and there are seven different challenges that you can try and meet. I don't know what order specifically they go in, but I didn't think it was important enough to look up. So I'm just going to go through the challenges and the books I plan on reading for those challenges in the order in which I remember them. First is to read a book whose cover has blue on it. Um, so I chose The Far Side of Evil by Sylvia Engdahl. Um, the cover is almost entirely blue. This is already on my summer reading list. It's the sequel to one of my favorite books called Enchantress from the Stars. I highly recommend it. If people out there still don't have their favorite book challenge filled with a book idea, you could read that one. Um, next is to read a book by an author who shares your same last initial. So for me, that is G. I chose um, Letters to Father by S.M. Celeste Galilei. She is the daughter of Galileo Galilei, and this is a collection of her letters to Galileo, so it should, I think, be very interesting. Amanda, as a digression, chose to read Coraline for this challenge, which uh, I was excited about because we were talking about recommending books for each other for the... Um, favorite book challenge, but we've already read a lot of each other's favorite books, so I think we've both ended up choosing um, to read a book recommendation from someone else. But I, I almost recommended Coraline to her, so I'm excited that she's reading it anyway. On the subject of that challenge, so that challenge that I've mentioned a couple times now is to read someone else's favorite book. So the book that I've chosen for this is The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind by um, William Kemkwamba, I think. Uh, this is one of my dad's favorites. The next challenge is to read a book that you've been wanting to read. For me, this could be one of thousands of books, but uh, I chose The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak because it was kind of just sort of next on my plan to read this summer. And we're going to be talking about World War II at work this week, so I think it'll be nice to read this um, in conjunction with things that we're doing at work. Along with that, a uh, next challenge is to read a book without putting it down. So, of course, I looked through my books for something shorter, and a couple stood out to me, and I was like, yeah, I could read that, yeah, I could read that, that looks good. But what I ended up picking was Night by Ellie Wiesel? I'm, I'm not entirely sure if that's the correct pronunciation of his name. This, so this is his story of surviving the Holocaust. So, so I have this kind of like mini World War II theme going on within my booktubeathon challenge. The sixth challenge is to read your most recently acquired book. For me, that is The Man in the Iron Mask by Alexandre Dumas. So unlike all my other recently acquired books, this one will not have any time to get comfortable on my shelves before I start reading it next week. The last challenge is simply to read seven books in seven days. I'm optimistic and I'm hopeful, but I also won't be surprised if I only read like three books next week. But if I should read seven books, the seventh book that I've chosen is Feed by M.T. Anderson. This again was on my like summer reading list and I chose it out of all the other books that were on my summer reading list that I still haven't read because it seems like it will be quite a different pace from the other books that I've put on my list for next week. So that should be nice if I get to this one to have like that extra variety. I am very excited to participate in Booktubeathon. Amanda and I have done readathons before. It's kind of a family tradition, something we do pretty frequently. Um, but we usually just do them for like a day or an evening. So it will be interesting to see how it goes to extend that throughout an entire week. And I look forward to watching a lot of Booktubeathon videos next week when I just can't turn any more pages. Um, so I will see you Booktube then. This halo that I have.